Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with Portland Event Films. And today I wanna to talk to you about these two video lights. If you're filming weddings, these are two lights that you should have in your lighting kit. Very similar, but they have some key differences and I'm gonna discuss them here coming up. Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with Portland Event Films. And today I'm gonna to discuss these two different lights. This one here, the Practilite 602 is really popular. This one here by Intellitech, I haven't seen anybody use on a wedding and is one of my favorite lights. So I'm gonna go over the key differences and who I think these lights are good for. So this is the Practilite 602. This is really popular. And there are a couple key features that I look for in a wedding light. So first, it needs to be a Fresnel so I can focus it. So you can focus this all the way down to a beam or open it up all the way to a floodlight. You can control it down. 5% is the lowest it'll go, and it'll go up to 100% um, on a battery, but if you have it plugged in, it will go up to like 140%, and it's at a specific light temperature. So depending on the temperature that you choose, the light has a brighter power output. So right now you can see it's down to about 3000 Kelvin, and then you can go all the way up to 6000 Kelvin. So the main purpose why I bought this light is for my speeches. A lot of times when I get to the wedding, they're either in a tent or in a church, and there's all kinds of different lighting around. And I wanna be able to match this light here to the person speaking. So one of the biggest things that I needed to focus on is a bi-color light. So when it comes to picking out a video light, for me personally, there's a couple things that I need to keep in mind. One, it needs to be a Fresnel lens and I need to be able to focus it down to a beam and have barn doors included on the light. I also need the light to be able to be run from a remote or an app. And here's the reason why. I put this up to a specific height and I wanna be able to keep it there and be able to test it. Then I like to go stand where the speaker is going to be standing. And then with my phone, I can adjust the color temperature or the output of the light, either by a remote or by a phone. So on this app here, I can control the brightness along with controlling the color temperature of the light. So having either a remote or having it on a phone app uh, is ideal for me, especially when it's all the way up in the air. I don't wanna have to keep bringing it down, pushing it up, bringing it down, pushing it up, uh, depending on the setting. So I can go stand in front of the camera and dial down my settings. The next biggest feature is I need to have something that has barn doors so I can focus the light and then have be a Fresnel lens, so that way I can either put it in a spot or I can put it in a flood, depending on what I'm doing with it. Now, the last thing is this thing needs to be mobile. I need to be able to pick this up and move it out of the way as soon as the speeches are done so we can go into the first dance so they're not waiting on us. Um, so this light here is powered by these newer batteries. This will usually last me the whole entire wedding, but I'll have a second battery just in case. So this allows me to be mobile on the day of the wedding. Now, the one downside of using the battery is you can only go to 100% power. When it's plugged in and the color temperature is set to 5,000, then you can get 140% power but for me this particular light is powerful enough in the middle of daytime to light up skin tones for speeches but i don't recommend it for the reception and dance it is a great light for the reception dance but it just does not have the output and that's the second light i'm going to talk to you about is the intellitech light so what we have here is our intellitech light it's a 1.5K light. It is the light Canon F65 ACDC. So this can be either plugged into a wall or V-mount battery. So you can get this in V-mount or you can get this in gold mount. I decided to get it in gold mount because I have uh, the batteries for my camera already here. So that's why I went with the gold mount. And what it has is an adapter and then we have a cord. Now this light, when I originally got it, 
the battery was attached up here and to me that was too much weight up above so i decided to detach it so that way i can put it on the light stand now just like the other light uh, this light can be controlled by your phone if you use this dongle and i'll show you on the back you just plug it in here and then you can uh, run it off your phone just like the practolite so it's probably hard to see with the barn doors but you can uh, set it to flood or you can set it to a uh, spotlight and then it also has these barn doors so that way you can really pinpoint the light down to it um, this one's nice because this comes off and you can take the barn doors off and then i also have a soft box that uh, attaches to this light now this light is a lot more powerful than the Practolite, probably say at least two times brighter. So when it comes to the dance party or if I'm lighting up a head table and I need to put the light farther back and have the light spread out and be more powerful, I'm going to go to uh, this light. The only downfall of this light is it's pretty heavy. Um, you need to use a bigger C stand. So for speeches and when I don't need as much light, I'm going to go to the Practolite. But usually on the wedding, I'll use both of these lights and then I'll cross the lights on the dance floor to give me a nice spotlight on the dance floor. But when it comes to speeches, then I'm going to use the Practolite on the main person speaking. And then I'll put this on like the head table if they're a little bit farther back. So on the back of this light... It goes all the way down to 3000 and then all the way back up to 8000. So this is one thing that I don't keep into consideration when doing a wedding, but these uh, do put out some fan noise. Now that doesn't work while doing an interview. Now this is at 100%. Once you turn the fan off, the light drops down to 50%, but now you can use this as a interview light and having a light that you can match colors is amazing, especially when you can control it from your phone. And that was one of the biggest features that I need is be able to put my lights where I want them, go stand in front of the camera or the particular area, get my readings and be able to control the light. So I'm not taking this thing up and down all the time. So it is battery powered, so I can move it. But like I said, it is a little bit heavier a little bit more cumbersome to move around, but the combination of these lights are amazing. So only really downside is how big it is, and then the Practolite is how much power it puts out. But other than that, they are, these are two great lights. Uh, you can't go wrong with uh, either one. Um, now, the Practolite is a little bit more expensive uh, than the Intelli Tech light here.